Hi, everybody. I'm Coach Shannon, and we have with us today Coach Tweelin and Coach Jade. And we are continuing yesterday's lesson. It's a little creative writing using our noodle noggin. We're going to build our own superheroes. And in that lesson, we're going to learn a lot about what it takes to make original characters. So give me a second. I'm going to do a little share screen so everybody can see what Miss Shannon is looking at. <clears throat> everybody can see that. All right, great. Okay, I'm gonna put in present mode. We're gonna go back and forth between these two little presentations. So just as a little icebreaker, we did this yesterday, but I would, I'm very curious about Coach Jade. Um, Coach Tweelin and Coach Shannon have already done this, so I'm just gonna ask her a couple of questions. So. Coach Jade, who is your favorite superhero? Oh, wow. Um, can I say Finn the Human from Adventure Time? Of course, he is the superhero. He totally meets the criteria. Um, and what do you think is the coolest superpower? I think flight, flying. That is a popular one. Everybody wants to be able to see things from a bird's eye view. Um, if you could have the the superpower of flight or super strength, I think I know which one you would pick, but which one would you pick? Mm, super strength is tempting, but I think I would still do flight. It's just, you just can't go wrong with flying. Totally. You just go and peek down on the world. I think I would get a little nauseous, but hopefully the gift of flight would stop me from getting motion sickness. Um, Kate's or no Kate's? <laughs> if the Incredibles has taught me anything, no capes. All right, we got it. She's staunch. She's following Edna Mode's um, good advice. Coach Freeland and uh, Coach Shannon are too dramatic to not go without capes. We need our capes. Um, <laughs> if, you, if you were a superhero, keep it secret, or would you tell anyone or everyone? Mm -hmm. I think I would keep it mostly secret, but I'd probably have to tell my mom. You'd have to tell your mom. She would be your confidant. Yeah, yeah I, think I would tell a couple of people too. I'd definitely tell Sookie. There's no way she wouldn't know. And that's my pug on the ground. Um, <laughs> and who do you think you would help with your superpowers? I think I would help everyone, anyone in trouble, but especially animals. Maybe that would be my focus. Oh, I love that. That would be <clears throat> puppies in peril. Yes. Okay. So we are going to just breeze through this. Let's do. Okay, so just as a quick warm up, we did this yesterday. What is your superhero name? If you had a superhero name, what do you think it would be? Oof. Yeah. So, okay. Coach Shannon picked Opal just because it's fun. It feels very 1980s, and I love Opals. Yes, so <clears throat> I've, I've chosen Teletool because I thought my powers would be like telekinesis. So the tele part's in there. And then tool is just fun to be around and just poof. <laughs> yeah, so. so many tools at your disposal. It's the sky's the limit, whatever you can imagine. That's pretty fancy. Maybe I'd go like an 80s route, like McArt, you know? McArt, mm -hmm. ooh, I love it, McArt, all right. All right, this is great Mick art. It's cool, and I think it would look cool as a logo. Okay, so what is your superpower? Now, Coach Tui Lin told us her superpower just now a little bit in her name. So do you wanna go into detail what that was? Oh yeah, sure. Uh, so Tool and, and would have telekinesis, and then telekinesis is just, you know, moving things with your brain powers. Yeah, so you moving things with your mind. So if I had telekinesis, I could float Suki up in the air right now, and it would be pretty funny and useful. Um, Coach Shannon has decided to really ape Thor and Storm's powers. I would like to have the power to control the weather. Um, and I think it would be very useful here in Louisiana with all the storms we have coming our way. So I would use my power to stop them. So what about you, Coach Jade, or should I say McArt? McArt. I think I would kind of be the, like, third to your 
superhero trio because I try to use eco-friendly art supplies. So it'd be cool if I could do something with the earth. Maybe save the wetlands. Ooh, Ooh, so would you maybe have like Swamp Thing power that you could like talk to the plants and grow things? So you'd be like Swamp Thing? Yes. Ooh, I love, ooh, Swamp Thing is one of my favorite superheroes. Okay, I think, I think we've got, this is perfect because this is kind of dovetailing what we're going to be doing today and part of our activity. Okay, so I'm going to go, we're going to go more into backstory, but how did your superhero get their superpowers? So Coach um, Tui Lin went to the garment factory and she was exposed to some kind of accident in the machine that she worked on. And she figured out that she had the power to move these various tools with her mind. And she now has telekinesis. And Coach Shannon was walking her dog by the lake and she ended up by a lab in um, near UNO that was a secret weather lab run by these evil billionaires. And she got blasted with a weather controlling ray and then she now has the power to control the weather. Hmm. So let's see. I think maybe I got my powers by Maybe in the beginning, Mick Art didn't use eco-friendly art supplies, dumped them on some grass, and maybe the sludge mm. gave Art their powers. I love this. Mm. Okay. It's biological waste. There's yeah, kind of like it's a little. This is a little. Uh, there's a there's a weird superhero from the '80s called the Toxic Avenger. So similar, and also also the the. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles got exposed to some ooze. Oh, yeah. so, so toxic ooze is a very, uh, those are, we're all just getting exposed to these things and this is how we got our superpower. So if there's a bright side to that stuff, it's now that we have these cool superpowers. Yeah. So let's, so yesterday we did this fun little game. We're gonna do that today. So if you're in a classroom right now, you guys may remember this. It's always fun to act out and pretend so we're gonna show how we use our superpower. You're gonna teach us how you use it. So Tui Lin, do you wanna show us how you use your telekinesis? Yeah, for sure. So to use my superpower, they would have to um, put their finger on their brain or their head, I guess, or temple and think really hard like me. And then if um, you want to make, it's very difficult, I guess, to move whatever you're trying to move because it's maybe it's heavy or it's really big or something. You gotta use your two hands. You just gotta think really hard like me. And then if you think too much, <laughs> it hurts, you just, you massage your temples. <laughs> very good, very good. And so, um, Coach Shannon takes a little bit of, uh, Thor can use his hammer, but Shannon's gonna go with Aurora Monroe Storms. Use her hands and just go, I summon thunder or lightning or flurries of snow. So there you go, just like push out your arms, really flex those muscles and uh, you bring some lightning down to earth. Oh, ladies, I can feel the power through the screen radiating off of you. I hope all of you kids at home really using your acting chops. So how would you use your powers, McArt? I think, so I have a lovely sunflower background going on. I think it would be like gathering all of your energy from below and pushing upwards. Ooh, that's awesome. Oh man, I love it. Like a flower beating towards the sun. Beautiful, yeah. I love it. That is what we call photosynthesis. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we're going to go into, let's see, another presentation. Can you all still see what's on my board? Yes. Yep. Great. Thank you. Present. So yesterday, this is a, we're still in the review territory. We are eight minutes into the class, and we're just going to do another couple of minutes kind of reviewing what we have so far. So if you've got a piece of paper, um, Coach Jade, AKA McArt, we have already written out 
who, so we take out a few blank pieces of paper and brainstorm what kind of special powers superhero will have. We already have that. So what, we did step two yesterday, which is decide on your characters outside physical traits, their appearance. Are they colorful, funny, serious, grab, dark, or menacing? What will their costume look like? So uh, Coach Tuilin and Coach Shannon took a few minutes to draw out what our superheroes would look like. Do you still have your drawings from yesterday, Coach Tuilin? I do, I do. You wanna show um, Coach Jade what you have and Coach Shannon will show up. Yeah, for sure. So, I've added on a little bit, didn't really finish the background here, but yeah. There's, a look at her, there's Teletool looking awesome in her coveralls, lots of pockets so she can put all of the tools. Yep, and lots of color because she likes color. Yeah. And her hair is colorful too. I don't know if you can see, but it's a mix of like blue and purples and, and some red. It looks beautiful. So Coach Shannon made her character. She also gets to have fun blue hair and a tiara because she's dramatic and <laughs> a nice little cape and a comfy t-shirt and some black leggings. She's just on the go, ready to be cozy, but you know, she can use her cape as a shield if she needs to. So things you might want to think about how you would use your um, different accessories, um, how it informs your character, what they like. Maybe it tells us your character's favorite color. I'm guessing if we had to guess anything about uh, Bruce Wayne, it said he loves the color black um, <laughs> as Batman. And that Superman loves the colors blue, yellow, and red. So, you know, go with whatever your character loves and also let's spit on them. I'm guessing we're gonna get some greens maybe for them. Um, Coach Jade's McArt. Yes. Flowers, maybe. So we're just kind of drawing our super self, or I mean, I know you all have. So. You in your costume. So one thing we talked about yesterday is we were making a rough draft. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just a sketch to get some ideas on the page of what we want our superhero to look like. Um, I asked students to think back to a really fun superhero movie that came out in the last couple of years, and that's the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse movie. And there's a scene of um, him trying to figure out what his costume's gonna be, and he's sketching it out. We're all in this phase. You, you don't, you're not stuck with the first drawing. There's some trial and error when trying to figure out our secret identities. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just uh, adding on some other details, I guess, so. Yeah, that's a great idea. I think Coach Anna will add some storm clouds to her drawing. All right, so another two minutes, whatever you feel like drawing. And I'm excited to see what Coach Shade draws, just because I think she could give us some good pointers when we think about illustrating our character design. Oh yeah, for sure, because Coach Jade is an amazing artiste. Indeed. Try. And you know, all of it is a form of storytelling to a certain degree. When you choose a color, you're adding an element to the story.
another minute and then we'll share out what we have so far and go on to the next part of the lesson, building a superhero. All right, well, Coach Shannon is ready to show some additions she made to her drawing, not necessarily to her costume, but just to her character. Yeah. Power. So here we've got some green clouds and some rain. And I'll just take us out of stop share so we can all show off our work and everybody can see it a little bit better. So here you can see Coach Shannon's Opal character. She's flying, using the wind, she's up in the clouds, making it rain. Love that. I guess I'll go next and we can do the uh, Coach Jade's big reveal of everything. <laughs> so I just have the background. I just made her a neon sign of her name in the back. <laughs> so it's yep. just for fun. Yeah. I love her. She's sassy, ready to fight the good fight. Mm -hmm. I can already tell so much about her <laughs> just from the choices you made in the drawing. Agreed. Okay, Jade. This is the big reveal. Big reveal. Here I am. So I have, oh, let me take my virtual background off so you can see. I have. <gasps> Oh. magical overalls. Oh, I love them. And I have my wetland boots. What do they call those? I'm um, shrimping uh, boots. No. Mud boots. Something so, you know, when I'm going through the wetlands, I'm not getting stuck in there, you know? Yeah. And red gloves that pour out my green power. Going with a little complimentary colors here. Ooh. Very cool. Kind of essence will be green eventually. Oh my gosh, she's so great. She looks powerful too. She looks like she needs business. Mm -hmm. Holy. All right, I love it. All right, so we're going back to share screen. So let's see. Here we are. Oops. Thank you. So the next part of the presentation that we did yesterday is we're going to take another blank piece of paper. And so Coach Tweelin and Coach Shannon already did this, but you already started to kind of do this with your um, explanation of your powers is where does your character come from? How did they get their power? And how do they feel about their superpower? What do they do with their superpower? So you kind of gave us some of those answers and you don't have to take too long just like short simple um explanations of those questions let's see should i share them out now yeah sure if you got them share them okay so let's see my make art usual persona my normal person persona they are from New Orleans, a New Orleans artist and art teacher. They got their superpower by some toxic paint sludge. They were kind of nervous about it at first, didn't know how to use their powers, but now they're feeling super cool about it. And they save animals and the environment with their powers. I love it. Those are all great answers. And you know, as I told the students yesterday, and I'll say it today, writing is kind of like improvisational or you know just seeing what sticks and this is a rough draft that we're doing now the first draft is not the last draft it's just the rough one so what we put on the page now you can change later so don't feel the pressure to make it perfect or that the thing you're choosing now has to be the thing that you live with forever you can make changes as you go along so now we got some new material that was excellent work and we will learn about a little bit about Coach Tweelin and Coach Shannon's uh, characters as we go along too. Okay, so if you still have room on the same sheet of paper, or you can grab another, list out what kind of special 
equipment your superhero uses, such as tools or vehicles, maybe a magical staff. So Coach Tui Lin, I bet you've got a lot of cool gadgets that you use. Yeah, that's, that's what all my pockets are for, just for, you know, everything <laughs> that I can stuff in the pocket, I can just pull out and use them, for sure. Um, yeah, so let's see. So, it can be more than one, correct? Yes. And, you know, it could be stuff that we already saw in your drawing. Coach Shannon is getting a little inspiration from her drawing and deciding, okay, um, I think I know exactly what that shield, my um, cape does, and what my tiara does. It's making me want to add to my drawing as well. But everybody has a moment. All right. Does everybody have the answer to number five? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Who wants to go first? I can go. Okay, good. Well, let's see. My superhero, Mick Art, can fly to be ultimately eco friendly, but for her daytime job, she has a car that runs on vegetable oil. Ooh. Um, for this superhero outfit, she has non-stick boots, but maybe she can also use her marker powers to recolor, like, brown or burnt forests. Ooh, I love it. That is a beautiful idea. All right, that is very, so any more that you want to add are those the ones you've come up with? I love it. Those are the ones I have so far. Maybe thinking about something that I can do with the actual art supplies, like maybe paintbrushes into wands. Ooh, I love it. See, this is just the starting point. It's the, you know, the sky is the limit. Your imagination is whatever you decide it to be. So keep going with that character. Coach Tui Lin. Yeah, sure. So my equipment, I put my main source of my equipment are my pockets because you know, that's where they house all of the cool gadgets. In my pockets, there's some random, you know, knickknacks and things. Uh, some magnets, just in case I need them. Bouncy balls for fun. <laughs> and then just random string for the cats that I, um, that I play with for my walking cat business. Yeah, you're, you, she has a, Coach Sweetland's character has a cat walking business. So she's got to have that string ready to go for bored kitties wherever they may be. So Shannon yeah. just drew inspiration from her drawing. And so we've got my cape, which can stop bullets and also act as a shield for any number of things. And she has her tiara, which can reflect the um, raindrops and make rainbows. Oh. So the, the rainbow can serve as a beacon for anybody who's in trouble to let my friends know I'm on their way. They'll see the rainbow and be like, oh, opal is coming. And you know, <laughs> opals can make rainbows themselves. So I think it works with the character design. Okay, so setting. I'm getting a sense that we're all kind of in a similar place. So on the same sheet of paper, write out your superhero setting. That is the place where our story happens. That is where our characters live is where they live rural or urban, an apartment or a house, a secret lair like the Bat Cave, or in plain sight like Tony Stark's tower. So what kind of space do they call their home? 
And this also, setting also gives us a lot of insight into who our characters are and what their lives are like. What would Spider-Man be without Brooklyn? So true. There aren't many skyscrapers to swing off of in the country. It's true, kind of need that. All right, how are we doing with our um, setting? Yeah, I think we got it pretty good so far. Right. What do we got? Who wants to go first? Coach Jade? Sure. So, my story starts in the city outside of my studio where I'm pouring that toxic paint and making that sludge. But as a superhero, I think the studio would become an art layer. Half for superhero secret business. I love it. I love it. And this was in Louisiana? Yes. Okay, great. So glad to hear that. And Coach Tui Lin. Yes. So my character lives in Toronto. Um, and it is, you know, main city Toronto is super busy and, you know, there's a lot of skyscrapers and things, but there's also like little cute pockets of parks and like, you know, it's both urban and rural, I guess. Um, yeah. yeah, so there are some factories, like I work at a factory too, I've got multiple part-time jobs. Um, and it's usually cold in the winters, like it snows and everything, um, and then not too hot in the summers, so I think my overall is a good option for that um and then for when i go home when i do go home i live in a small apartment just you know chilling in toronto excellent i love it so coach shannon she has a nice little apartment in the french quarter because she loves to people watch and she goes out onto the balcony to do that but when she really just wants to be one with nature, she'll go up on her roof of the building that she lives in and just kind of swirl the storm clouds around and watch them overhead. I think that's one of her happy places, or Opal. Okay, so let's go into the next section. On a fresh sheet of paper, on the top half of your page, you will write out a second draft of everything you just created. Write out a short character bio, including all the information you created in step one through step six. That includes special powers, appearance, background, public or secret identity, special equipment, and place of residence. I think we have done a really good job so far. Um, actually, Coach Shannon's going to, let's see. I want to review real quick over what we just did um, for just a quick lesson of what all of this means. So does everybody see what's up on the board? Character traits. Yes. yes. So character traits. We have outside character traits. So that's what you look like. And then we have inside character traits. So we have the physical traits. It's whether or not someone's wearing glasses, like Coach Twee Lin, Coach Jade. They're like, oh, I had these two great teachers. They both wore glasses. They're both really nice ladies. And that would be a personality trait. So Physical traits are what we observe with our senses. So what are some things that we can see on a person? If y'all want to read some of the things we have below, I would love that. Um, uh, hair color. Like I've got 
black hair. <laughs> Indeed. Yes. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Go on. Eye color, what color your eyes are. Indeed. So someone's height, how tall they are. You can't see this, but Coach Shannon's really short. <laughs> so whether or not someone's short or tall, um, what kind of clothing they're wearing. So if someone's like, oh, have you seen Coach Tweelin? She was wearing a black shirt. She had black hair, glasses. And then size, whether or not they're short or they're tall, big, small, all different shapes and sizes. It takes all kinds of, of attributes to make a human being. Um, and then facial features, like whether or not someone has freckles. I don't know if y'all can see that, but Coach Shannon has lots of freckles. Um, whether or not someone has like eyebrows. Some people don't have eyebrows. All kinds of different things that make a person a person. Um, and so we're going to go into the inside traits. So when you think of like a, your favorite comic book, if you've ever read a comic book, or we think of um, something like Adventure Time with Finn the Human, we think of a character's thoughts. You know, a character may think one way, but then say something else. Like, oh, I don't know if I like this person. And then are, they treat them very nice. Or they may be really scared on the inside or, and then act very brave on the outside. So those are also, so what a person thinks and then what they say. Those are our character traits. So let's, let's take a character. We were talking about this yesterday. If any of y'all remember, but we got like Spider-Man. So Spider-Man, how would, would, how would you describe Spider-Man, his character? Would you describe him as being kind of gloomy and broody? Not gloomy. Not gloomy. How would you describe him? Um, I would describe him more as really energetic, um, always up to try to help people, um, just very, you know, out and about and doing things and wanting to do things. Yeah, definitely. And I would also describe him as being funny because he says a lot of funny stuff so regularly. I just laugh every time he's out rescuing somebody. Lots of quips, lots of puns. So those are also character traits. But if you were to describe someone like, let's say, Batman, would you say he's really bubbly and funny and energetic. Nah, oh, yeah. <laughs> he's a little gloomy, he's a little mysterious. He doesn't, he's not very forthcoming. Um, doesn't say a lot when he's interacting with people, a man of few words. Um, or you take someone like Wonder Woman. She's, when she speaks, it's very powerful, very confident. You, she's very passionate. So already we've got three very different superheroes who act very differently. So personality traits are what we learn from their actions, words, and thoughts. So the things that they do. So when you think about Spider-Man, he takes risks and takes chances. They all do, but they do these things in different ways. So that was great, guys. So these are all things that we have to consider. So here we have Miles Morales, and we see his physical traits. So what are some things that we can notice about his physical traits? traits. What do y'all see? What color is his hair? Black. And what color are his eyes? Look brown. Yeah. And he's, is he a tall person? Mm, I would say no. He's still he's a kid. kid. He's growing. <laughs> yeah. He's kind of tall, but <laughs> so his clothing, it's like very young and hip and he's got like his little Spider-Man costume underneath that he got from the store. Um, and he's size, he's, he's light, but strong. And facial features, I'd say he's a handsome kid. All right. And then here we have another character that's Spider Gwen. So what color hair does she have? Blonde. Blonde, and she's got blue eyes. Is she tall? I think they're about the same height. She's oh, yeah. also young, yeah. Yeah, still growing. Clothing, she's got like a professional costume. She is like full on incognito. When she's got her mask on, you couldn't tell she went to your school. And she's also light. Like, she looks very muscular. She looks strong. Um, yeah, also pretty gal. And then here we have Spider Man, Peter Parker. Mm -hmm. So here we. So these are all different. They're all superheroes, but they all look very different. So these are the outside character traits. So we're going to do a quick activity about who you are as a person. 
on the outside. So on the left side, we're going to draw how you look on the outside, your outside character traits. And on the right side, you're going to draw your inside character traits. Favorite things to think about, talk about, and do. We do have nine minutes left. Okay, we're going we're gonna to finish up this lesson. So this is a good little thing to think about when we think about ourselves and our characters, but we're thinking about ourselves as people. So outside, what do we look like? And then inside. So I'm guessing if Coach Jade were to draw her inside drawing, we'd maybe see Jake the dog bouncing around in there from Adventure Time, or maybe some art supplies. Oh, definitely. Those are right on the mark. <laughs> Coach Shannon would probably have a lightsaber, something from Buffy. I think a good important takeaway in this little exercise is whatever you draw right now, just remember that you change who you are in the inside changes. This isn't the final draft. You are a rough draft, always changing. If tomorrow, Coach Shannon could decide, you know what, I'm done. I want pink hair. And then I get pink hair. I'm excited to see what Coach Jade has to show. Coach Shannon, you know, still a work in progress as a drawer, but Coach Jade, something special. She puts pencil to page. <laughs> we'll see when you see what it looks like. I think it's pretty spiffy. Yay. So I'm gonna
All right. When everybody's got a moment. All right, in one minute, let's all finish up and see what we got here. All right, I think we are good. So Coach Shannon will go first. So if y'all wanted to keep playing around on yours, by all means. So I'm gonna take us out of share screen. All right. So here is Coach Shannon's. So just a little simple drawing. I think Coach Shannon's been drawing herself in this way for a very long time. So that's my simple, how I draw myself. So even since I was a little kid in the diary. So there's Coach Shannon, just a stick figure, a glorified stick figure. And then here, what's in my brain? What are things I like to think about? So we got Buffy, my obsession right now. Suki, a silly drawing of a pug. You can see Suki. Um, always writing, if I, if that's usually what's going on in my brain. I live inside my story world. So it's like having a new movie in my brain all the time and I love it. And then you know, just nature. I love getting outside, exploring, and just being out in the nature. Maybe get to hang out with uh, Coach Jade's superhero, McArt. Yes. Awesome. I love that. Um, so I guess I can go next. Um, I didn't draw my outside because I felt like I ran out of time. <laughs> but I drew my inside, and I thought that was a really fun um, activity and I kind of listed it out first to see what I wanted to do and inside my brain I've got just cogs and thought bubbles I and love. just connecting everything together so I just because I'm more of a deep thinker and I like mind maps and connecting like random things together so right here I roll like pickles mm. right here I have books I have barnacles right here and then like down here I've got doodles <laughs> So just like, you know, everything is connected somehow. And then I just kind of think about how everything's connected and sparks, you know, just going off. <laughs> I love that. And Coach Freeland's totally right. When you look at brain synapses, that's basically how thoughts form. They just shoot across each other and make connections. I love it. That's wonderful. Fantastic. Oh, so I guess I'm up. So let's see if you can see this. So my outside is Aww. very comfy, always big shirts or sweaters, big comfy pants, and the socks. The socks are very important. All cozy socks. And of course, my short hair, glasses, always. On the inside, I have art supplies rumbling around like in an empty drawer, just art supplies, because I'm creative. I have Jake from Adventure Time with his sandwich. If you know, you know. I have little stars or bursts where I get my ideas that I end up following. And I try to be warm and kind, so I drew a little bowl of soup. Oh, I love that. That's beautiful symbolism. I love that. That's a great metaphor for how warm and kind you are in everyday life. And that has definitely been Coach Shannon's experience working with Coach Jade. Oh, thank you. Very warm and kind. So yeah, so if you are at home or in the classroom and you are trying to decide what your superhero is going to be like, 
it's always good to start from where you are as a person and think about, okay, well, I feel this way about something. How would they feel? So having a little empathy for this person that you made and created. And for an activity to take home with you guys, um, I'm gonna go to share a screen real quick. It's just something you can maybe journal about um, and, or just think about in your imagination is, and this is something I'm sure we can all relate to or fantasize about being a superhero and having power, what we do with that power. Oopsies. Um, hold on. Okay, out of the way. So if you became a superhero for a day, what would you do? Your story must include how your superpowers and character attributes impact your choices. So, and for our young learners, if you cannot write yet, please draw these three pictures of what you would do showing how your superpowers and character attributes impact your choices. So, you know, when we think about what we would do and where we would be, obviously me being in Louisiana has an effect on what I would do with my superpowers. But you know, who knows? I'd probably fly out to California and dump a bunch of water on the, the fires in, in uh, California. That's definitely one of the first things I do. I'd probably be like, um, can I maybe get a assist from my other superheroes, Coach Tweelin and Coach Jade, and we can use our superpowers together? So those are things to think about. Do you want to share an idea that you're having maybe on how, what you would do, guys? If I was a superhero for a day and I had my powers, I'd probably, yeah, I try to go to wherever needs help. Um, any like natural disasters that are going around and just help them for the day. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Um, okay. Definitely whatever is going on natural disaster wise, but also maybe I would spend that whole day putting a little more land under us in Louisiana so we're not so below sea level. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. I love this plan. This is great. Yeah, that was like a great idea. I love that. You know, another final thought is that when we use our imaginations, we open up our minds and our hearts to new possibilities. You know, there are definitely ways to build more land in Louisiana, and you don't need superpowers to do that. Just the will and the ideas on how to do it. Well, y'all have been so great. Already superheroes in my heart and mind. Thank you so much. And uh, have fun. Take care. And wash your hands, guys. <laughs>